Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Jeff Winkle, and I am going to be your professor for the next seven weeks into this foray into um, living religions around the world. So in this orientation video, I just wanted to take a few minutes just to uh, cover the basics of the course, tell you a little bit about myself, um, uh, try to preempt any kind of immediate questions you might have, and to get you on good footing in, in jumping into um, uh, the assignments uh, for the first week. So uh, first of all, just a little bit uh, about me. My name is, like I said, I'm Dr. Jeff Winkle. Uh, I've been teaching at GRCC for several years now in the humanities department, um, and I absolutely love it. And this is actually one of my favorite courses to teach. Um, my kind of expertise and background is actually in the field of classics, uh, which uh, in academic speak means anything having to do with the ancient Greek and Roman world, uh, in particularly kind of the ancient religion and mythology of the of the um, of the ancient uh, uh, Greek and Roman world, I actually teach a, a Greek mythology class here at um, at GRCC online and in person as well. Um, and in fact, we're going to start our class with a uh, kind of a, just dipping our toes into a little bit of kind of Greek mythology and ancient Greek religion um, as a way of kind of going back to an ancient culture and and um, seeing what kind of religious questions they were asking. And what kind of answers to the fundamental, um, you know, kind of problems of humanity, um, the, the kind of answers they were offering uh, way back when. And we'll, and we'll kind of use it as kind of a template, as kind of a foundation to look at religions as they de develop uh, throughout human history. And uh, with a specific look, um, ultimately, of course, at living religions around the world uh, today. Um, this is a course which we call an asynchronous course. We are not going to be having any specific meeting times where I'm going to require you to be available, you know, via Zoom or, or you know, uh, Google Meets at any particular time. Uh, the basic way that it will, will work is that um, I will give you a folder with a week's worth of assignments and lectures and readings, and I will expect that you will um, attend to all of those things throughout that week and complete them by the end of that week. And so the way I have it set up is that, um, well, I will take a peek at the Blackboard um, site in just a moment. Um, but the way I have it set up is uh, week one is available now, and then at 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, uh, the folder for week two will open up, and, and you'll be able to dive into that as well. And so I tend not to open up things early. I know for, um, some students like to um, ask, you know, can I work ahead, uh, just to kind of keep everything on an equal footing, um, and just to kind of keep, uh, it really helps you in terms of organization and, and kind of keeping the course on a, on a level footing is I'm going to keep it at, um, as, as I have it set up, is that, you know, a week, um, weekly folders will open at the beginning um, of their assigned uh, week. And so uh, it's in your best interest, of course, to stay on top of things um, in uh, <clears throat> a seven-week course like this. Um, I don't really cut anything um, that, uh, you know, that I would have in a regular 14-week course. So it's a lot of stuff. And um, I recognize, you know, online, the online approach is not for everybody. I mean, one of the benefits uh, of it is that, um, you know, if you are a self-starter and you are, um, you can work at uh, your own pace, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's a, it's a great uh, approach to uh, any subject. Um, but, you know, if you're, if you're kind of, you're swamped with other things and um, you, and you are somebody who kind of needs that regular, um, you know, place to be at a particular time. Um, it can be it can be definitely more of a challenge, and so I encourage you just to stay on top of things as best you can, and let me help you um, in any way that I can as well uh, um, as we go through this. And, and uh, don't hesitate to ask me questions or or if you need things clarified, um, that's what I am I'm, I'm here for. All right, so um, I want to take a peek at the at the syllabus and talk about uh, course texts and what I'm uh, going to require of you throughout the the next seven weeks and what I'm going to ask you to do. Um, in the immediate, uh, you know, coming uh, coming days in this in this first week. So this is the course. This is the text that I've ordered for this class. It's the one uh, book I'm asking you to to purchase. Uh, Religion Matters by Stephen um, Prothero. It's an excellent text. Um, you know, in, in for the most part, each chapter is devoted to a different living religion around the world. And I believe at the end of week one, I'm asking you to to read chapter one, which is kind of an introductory chapter, kind of about religion. Um, so it's in your best interest to to get this as soon as you can. It's available at the GRCC bookstore, um, but uh, you can find this on Amazon. Um, I always encourage students to save money when they can, and um, you know look at uh, at used sites. Um, take some do some clicking around, but uh, don't hesitate too long. Get this text as quickly as possible. Um, I know sometimes it takes students you know um, a bit longer to kind of track down text or get text um, uh, at the beginning of a course. So I will certainly keep you know, the first few weeks folders open 
and I'm not going to close down assignments right away. And so um, if you do need a little bit more time to get the text, um, don't panic. I will keep the assignments associating, associated with this text open on the course of Blackboard site. <clears throat> All right, so speaking of the course Blackboard site, um, if you go to um, our Blackboard site for this course um, and you, you, you open it up, this is what you're going to see, uh, kind of a welcome page. Um, you, over here, you can find the, um, uh, the link to the syllabus, which I'll pull up in just a second. Um, the, probably the first thing that you, you've done, actually, if you're watching this video, the, you've already done this, you've clicked on the weekly assignments um, uh, link here. So I'm going to open that. So right now, week one is open. And so, uh, like I said, at the end of the day, Sunday, week two will, will open up. And so if we open this up, um, I have kind of a suggested uh, approach here. And so generally speaking, certainly once we get into the course, I'm going to expect that you're, you know, everybody has the textbook and that you're going to be able to um, you complete all of the uh, assignments that I laid out for you. But I have a suggested um, approach. Can you, you follow this as best you can. I know everybody's got different things going on in their lives. People are working and such. And so um, <clears throat> I do suggest that um, breaking up the, um, the assignments, you know, watching the lectures, doing the readings, taking the quizzes, if you can kind of divide it up throughout the week, I think you're going to uh, remember it uh, much better than just kind of cramming everything in at the at the end of the week. It's I it's kind of like um you know I've noticed that you know if I binge watch a show on you know on a streaming service, um, I often find that you know down the road I have a very difficult time remembering um, what that show was about, remembering details of of what it's about. But you know if I watch like in, you know one episode a week, um, I find that uh, one, I remember it much better and I also enjoy it uh, uh, much better. So, you know, I, like I said, I, I realize people's lives are, are busy to different degrees, but as best you can, I would say, you know, try to kind of um, you know, divide it up and take, you know, pick a few days and say, I'm going to do a little bit here and a little bit there. But here in uh, week one, this is what I'm asking you to do, um, watching lectures, doing readings, taking quizzes. I'll say more about the quizzes in just a second um, and do your best to complete them. Before the end of the before the end of the of the week. All right, um, let me pull up the syllabus here, which you can find. Um, at, you can access this by the link on the Blackboard site. Here's my name. Best way to get in touch with me is my email address here. Just note the spelling of Jeffrey. It's not Jeff E R Y. It's R E Y. I've missed. I mentioned that because I've missed emails because people um, do an alternate spelling of my name. Um, I'll be on campus, you know, kind of off and on. If you want to meet, I would love to meet you. I mean, one of the downsides of an online course is I, I rarely get to meet um, the students that are in the class. Um, so, but if you want to stop by and you want to talk about the paper or an assignment or, or um, you know, studying for, uh, preparing for the final exam or anything, just let me know. Um, I live nearby. It's, it's not a huge hassle for me to come on down to my office. My office is in RJF Hall. It's at Raleigh J. Finkelstein Hall. It used to be called Maine. Um, in 351, and I'm in the language and, and thought uh, uh, suite. Um, yeah, just a brief overview. We're going to be, like I said, we're going to be talk starting with um, some kind of uh, you know, ancient, technically kind of dead religions, the, you know, the mythologies and beliefs of the ancient Greeks, and then we'll shift into um, our living religions, and we'll be looking at um, the Eastern religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Taoism, Confucianism, um, all the, the religions that are mostly kind of associated with um, uh, the, uh, the Eastern Hemisphere. And then we'll also spend some time talking about the so-called Abrahamic religions or the monotheistic religions. Kind of the big three are um, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. We'll also be talking about Sikhism, which is uh, technically, I guess, you, it's, it's an Eastern religion, but it has kind of aspects of kind of Eastern polytheism, but also monotheism as well. And then we'll end our course... Um, talking about indigenous religions, you know, Native American, African tribal. In class, in, in terms of lecture, we'll be taking a specific look at the Australian Aboriginal um, religions. And then the last chapter in our textbook is actually about atheism, you know, so um, a kind of a, um, a, a, a counterpoint to religious belief in and of itself. Um, I'm not going to go through all this in detail. I mean, here's our textbook once again. Um, in my attendance policy, you know, it's, like I said, it's an asynchronous course, so I'm not asking you to check in at any specific time. You will get in, our, in attendance and participation grade, uh, but the way I, I really mark that is, are you submitting your um, responses, your quizzes uh, on time, um, and you're not getting you know, ridiculously behind in what I'm asking you to do? Um, the class itself is worth a total of 1,000 points. I, I grade on a fairly straight scale, which I, I'll show you just below. And here's the breakdown evenly. Your attendance and participation, 200 points. Um, 
we'll be watching um, a number of kind of episodes. I'll be asking you to watch one film, and then I have some questions for you to respond to um, uh, that you'll, like, and you'll post up to Blackboard uh, with a total of 200. There'll be reading quizzes that I'm asking you to do for, for everything I'm asking you to read, 200 points. A final exam, which will be a, you know, kind of a take-home exam. The last week you'll have, um, I'll give you the prompt, and then you'll have a week to complete it. And then there will also be kind of one formal course paper, which I will introduce, um, I think, in week three. Um, my, my grading scale is, is a fairly straight one. I mentioned this just because I know that um, some students who've taken classes at GRCC have found that um, a typical grading scale for an A is 93% uh, to 200%. My grading scale is a little bit more um, stringent than that. I have a 95 to 100 is an A, and then 90 to 94 is an A minus. So it's a little bit more demanding. I don't think that you're going to find that I'm a particular kind of harsh grader, but I do think a straight A should reflect a work that is above and beyond. So I mentioned that just so we're all on the same page and there's no surprises at the end of the semester. Um, the reading quizzes. So if um, so, let me get back down on Blackboard here in week one. Um, here, I'm asking you, um, as one of your assignments, to read this um, reading. Uh, it's, an, it's an ancient Greek myth called Hesiod's Theogony, about kind of the birth of the universe and the birth of the gods. So I'm asking you to read this, and then you'll click open on this quiz. And um, the quizzes are, are almost exclusively multiple choice quizzes, um, and they're just, just testing basic comprehension of the things that I'm asking you to read. I'm not, again, I'm not to trick you. I'm not going to pull stuff from footnotes. Um, but these are there to kind of keep you on your toes. And so you'll notice here that this one has 10 questions. It is timed. And so I do that just to kind of, um, you know, prevent students from just simply opening the quiz and, and flipping pages or scrolling through things, kind of uh, answer hunting. So I do time them to kind of encourage you to do the readings and do them well. Um, uh, but I think you'll find this this is plenty of time to complete these, uh, these things. Um, you may attempt these quizzes twice. Uh, just note that I will average, or the software, I should say, will average the two the scores of your of your two attempts. And so, of course, if you if you take the quiz once, um, I have it set up, but it'll show you um, how many you got right, how many you got wrong. It won't give you the answers, but it'll tell you kind of how you did. And of course, if you ace it, like on, if this quiz you nail it, ten out of ten, there is no need to take it a second time, uh, obviously. And that's the grade that will go to your um, to your um, to your grade book. And so here too, another another kind of reading from ancient Greece, another att short attendant quiz. Um, and at the end here too, uh, um, I'm asking you to read the uh, the first chapter of the Religion Matters textbook, and then also take uh, and take the quiz. So the, it's 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 uh, seven weeks. It's jam packed, and so I encourage you to hit the ground running, and um, and uh, start get, staying on top of these things as as quickly as you can. Um, there won't be a midterm, but there will be a final exam. And this will be essay based. Uh, kind of my philosophy is that kind of the, the basic kind of nuts and bolts, like the who, what, where, when, those kind of true and false, multiple choice questions, those, the quizzes um, take care of that. Uh, but in the final exam, I'm going to ask you some kind of broad compare and contrast um, types of essays, or I might give you a thesis and say either defend it or refute it. Uh, and this will ask you to kind of bring together a number of, of, of things that we've looked at over the last seven weeks. Um, more information on that as we go forward. There will be a, a, a course paper. Um, I will introduce this. I'll give it its own folder in the third week of class. This is nothing that you know that you should really concern yourself right now. Um, but this will be a paper where I ask you to choose a particular religion and then analyze particular aspects from that religion. Um, you know, a particular story, a particular artifact, and in a particular um, place of uh, holy place, a sacred place, you know, a church, a mosque, a synagogue, a temple, something like that. Uh, don't worry about that quite yet, but I will, um, I'll introduce that um, uh, soon. Yeah, for communication, like I said, um, I'm, I'm expecting that you're going to be using the GRCC email account that you've been assigned, and the best way to contact me is through my GRCC uh, email account as well. Yeah, here's just um, so we're all, you know, everything's above board. Here is the grading scale that I use, and so like I said, the course is worth a, a potential thousand points, and at the end of the day, this is kind of how I will um, uh, kind of mark your grade based on the number of points that you've gotten at the end of the course. Um, you can take a look at the course schedule yourself. Kind of what we're doing with, with each week, we're kind of going from the ancient Greek stuff to some kind of broad um, uh, questions about religion, uh, and then we're talking Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism. Well, I'm, I'm going to ask you to watch this wonderful film, which is based on a wonderful book, The Life of Pi, which is um, a story that's jam-packed with religious questions and ideas. Um, I'm going to ask you to watch it and respond to it. Uh, Sikhism, 
And then we'll be start, uh, kind of our look into the, the so-called monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, uh, and then kind of a, a detour back into um, uh, the Eastern religions con uh, or philosophies, Confucianism, Taoism. And then we'll end um, by looking at uh, indigenous uh, sacred beliefs, uh, paganism, and then the last chapter um, talking about, uh, about atheism. So the final exam and the papers, which again, you shouldn't worry about right now, um, these will be due by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, June 25th, at the very end of this course. Um, but I hope that you find kind of the layout on Blackboard, and as I introduce this stuff, that it's very kind of, you know, obvious what I'm asking you to do, and it's very kind of very clear uh, when I'm asking you to complete it by. But if it's not, um, let me know. I'm here to clarify things and to help you in any way that I possibly can. And at the bottom of the syllabus, this is kind of the stuff that um, is kind of re we required to kind of put on uh, college policies about email, disability support, um, uh, codes of conduct, Title uh, Title IX, um, and any and other resources uh, resources here um, that you might uh, need or find useful. Um, so yeah, don't hesitate to contact me um, with any kind of questions. I hope you enjoy this this class. It's a great subject. I think it's a really wonderful and necessary subject uh, for. Um, uh, for, for anyone who wants to kind of have a better understanding of kind of in some ways how the world works and how it has kind of changed and developed um, in approaching kind of the biggest questions that human beings can ask. You know, uh, what are we doing here? Um, uh, what is God? Is there a God? Um, if there is, what does that mean for me, uh, me as a human being? And so these are kind of some of the deepest, most existential questions that we can ask. So let's dig into them and let's have fun doing it. All right. I'll see you in there.